In this tutorial, we're going to go over the steps necessary to connect to your DVR from a remote location. Uh, that's when you're connecting to the DVR from a computer that is not on the same network. Perhaps your DVR is in the office and you'd like to check a recorded video or live footage uh, from your home. Uh, that, would be, uh, that would be an example of connecting from a remote location as opposed to connecting from the same network that the DVR is on. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to obtain the public IP address of the DVR server. So you, you need to go to the DVR server itself and launch Internet Explorer. And there are several ways you can obtain the public IP address. Uh, the easiest way is just to go to a website that will present that information to you. The one that we use is whatsmyip.org. It's W A, I'm sorry, W H A T S M Y I P dot O R G. And the IP address of the DVR server will show up at the top of the screen. So you do you you need to write this down, keep this handy because this is the IP address that you're going to type into Internet Explorer on the remote computer in order to access the DVR remotely. So we'll go ahead and get out of this. Okay. The second thing that you need to do before you'll be able to access the DVR remotely is set up port forwarding on your router. Um, Unfortunately, because there are so many different router manufacturers and the 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 method that's used for port forwarding on 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 all of them is not identical, we we we're not able to go over the the process for setting up port forwarding uh, across the board for every different router manufacturer. Uh, you'll you'll have to access your documentation for your particular brand of router to determine how to set up port forwarding on your on your particular router but uh, you need to set up port forwarding so that you're forwarding ports 9000 through 9009 to the private IP address of the DVR server and usually on a router when you're in the screen where you're setting up port forwarding it will it will allow you to enter a range of ports that you want to forward and in that situation for the in the in the first box you'd enter 9000 as the start of the range and then 9009 in the second box as the last port in the range that you want to forward um, the type of forwarding is TCP most routers give you the option of TCP or UDP or both in this situation you can just choose TCP um, and lastly you're you're going to be forwarding those ports to again the private IP address of the DVR server uh, to obtain that IP address you would go to start run in this window that comes up you type CMD C as in cat M as in Mary D as in David click enter and in the new window that comes up you type IP config IP C O N FIG click enter and you'll see in the results you'll see something that says IP address and that is going to be the private IP address of the DVR server that is the address that you're going to be forwarding ports 9000 through 9009 to in your router once you've set up port forwarding you'll be able to go to a remote computer and access the DVR from that computer as long as it's as long as it's running Windows XP and it has a copy of Internet Explorer on it uh, again make sure that before before you leave the DVR you want to make sure that the DVR software is actually running if it's not running you're not going to be able to access it from a remote location so at this point you would leave the DVR go to your remote computer and on the remote computer you would launch Internet Explorer 
And the first thing you need to do in Internet Explorer is enable all of your ActiveX controls. You do this by going to Tools, Internet Options, click the Security tab, and then Custom Level. You want to scroll down until you, until you see a heading called ActiveX Controls and Plugins. And under that heading, you'll see all the ActiveX controls, behaviors, everything associated with ActiveX controls and plugins. You want to make sure that all of these are enabled. And usually, uh, you'll know that you reach the end of all the ActiveX controls and plugins when you get to uh, another heading called Downloads. So make sure that all of those are enabled. Click OK you'll get a warning asking are you sure you want to change the security settings for this zone click yes and then click OK okay at this point you can go ahead and close out of Internet Explorer and relaunch it now what you're gonna to need to do at this point to access the DVR server you're gonna to have to type in the public IP address that you obtained from the DVR server itself when you went to whatsmyip.org you're gonna type that in at the top here so you're gonna go HTTP colon forward, sa for forward slash forward slash and then the public IP address of the DVR server followed by a colon and the number 9009. And once you've done that, you should get a login screen. And at this point, you would just type in the username and password for your particular account. Click Next. And you'll have access to the live video streaming from the DVR. That concludes the tutorial on how to access the DVR from a remote location uh, will explain the different features and functions in in this screen and how to access uh, video that's been previously recorded will we'll explain how to how to do that in a in another tutorial